What is up guys, Austin Richo here back again and this time we've got more Dragon Ball Super Dragon Star figures and so I do want to start out by saying so um, we have put up another video or another video or two of the yeah I guess uh, one video of these in the past and I just got super criticized about saying Dragon Ball Z and stuff so I just want to say I do not know Dragon Ball stuff I am completely like uh, I know barely anything see I, me growing up I grew up with Dragon Ball Z knowing like I used to watch the show like not intentionally it would just be on TV and stuff so to me everything in that universe is considered Dragon Ball Z but this is Dragon Ball Super so I'm gonna be saying that wrong a lot and another thing is these are my brother's figures and I'm just reviewing them as figures like look at these figures this is you know what they can do and stuff and how nice they look I'm not here to you know tell their stories or anything like that because I don't know any of it and I probably will mispronounce names and everything so if you want to criticize go ahead and do that in the comments but just know I'm saying this from the beginning I do not know this stuff so um I'm just telling you right now, I do not know these figures. But first up, we've got this set here of Series 3 and 4. This is Series 3. We'll look at Series 4 here in a second. And this is building with, a, I guess, build a figure. I collect. Um, just as collect and build I guess Fusion Zamasu I want to say think is how you say it um, but we'll take a look here so this is series 3 where first up we've um, got Super Saiyan Future Trunks here as you can see again we're going to look at them out of the box and stuff comes with the Fusion Zamasu head there so we've got Super Saiyan Future Trunks again to remember all this I'm probably going to get it wrong then next up we've got Super Saiyan Blue Goku which again more pieces and then we've got Hit which again looks like a really cool figure and stuff I really like the look of that so that is series three and we had to wait on some of that I forget which figures of these if it was series three or the this four but we had to wait on them and that's what's taken forever to get these videos done is that we couldn't find them we had even the next set of four and five way before any of these so we've had to wait quite a while then this is series four here again continuing with the fusion Zamasu build and we've got this um, super blue or Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. I really like when they have the different colored hairs and stuff. I really like that a lot. So there's that one. Then we've got Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. And then we've got Zamasu himself. But of course this is just the normal ver version of Zamasu. And then we get the Fusion one back there where he's got different colors and big arm and all sorts of stuff as you can see back there so again I like the look of these figures I like the colors and everything they're very anime-ish obviously because they are but I really like that whole look and design to them and stuff but again I just can't get into the show um, as a, like you know the cartoon style and stuff so that's why I don't know anything about it but let's go ahead and open each of these figures and we'll of course look at them and then at the very end build um, the fusion Zamasu figure so let's get into it and we're starting off here with number one, the Super Saiyan Future Trunks. And again, this these figures are so cool, and I love the posability and everything they do for them. These are made by Banda, which of course do or did at least the Power Ranger figures, and so um, that's why I have a, like a connection with these because of um, just the way they're built and posability and stuff are very similar to all my Power Ranger figures and everything. But let's take a look at this again. Out of the set, this is number one, and so we're looking at. Him. Um, so we're starting off with the hair, which of course um, the one thing I do like about about the Dragon Ball series is their um, anime style hair as it's classified in other you know forms of pop culture and stuff they call anime hair and I just love their hair designs and everything that they come up with so there is a look at his blonde hair so it looks like he's got kind of like a shaved head here at the bottom and then his hair at top is longer and then it's all just spiked up and it looks like he's got horns and stuff it just looks really cool and I really like the look and design of that and it's all the de detail you can see all the different like little parts that um, are coming together joined it looks like it's just a front piece like glued onto the back and you can see like holes and stuff in it um, but it does look really cool so there we've got a look at his face there he's got the classic Dragon Ball Z eyes of like the triangle shape the big giant eyebrows that come into like a point there on his face got a little tiny nose and mouth ears and everything the head does have movement it moves you know side to side but it doesn't really move like back and forth hardly at all but um you can see like the movement there it's kind of some of these figures are really smooth like this head is you know kind of smooth and wobbly but I do like though the detail of the neck it looks you know like someone's neck there that's actually flexing and stuff I really like that detail into it um, but then going down we've got his outfit so there first we got a red bandana hanging around his neck then he's in a blue sh um, like button up shirt here I'd almost want to say it's like would be like a jean jacket but it's since you know it's the um, cartoon design it's hard to tell but it's got these nice orangish color gold buttons on it then he's got a um, green strap around his back to hold on to a sword which we'll see in a uh, few seconds or in a 
here in a little bit that goes on to the back there then on his shoulder you can see though it's got this the C logo there it looks almost like the copyright logo but movement wise um, he doesn't have any like body or ab crunch or anything of course that we get from Marvel Legends but the arm does as you can see twist around and it does have the butterfly movement there it does have the upper bicep twist it's got a double elbow joint and then of course the hand can move around and flex and as you can see there, he does have a tear in his jacket. So this figure looks like he has been in battle because he does have some tears and everything on his clothes. So we'll see that. And so, of course, this hand's the same, just not that C on the side. Then we do have the waist. So there's the waist. You know, it's like a ball. I want to say like a ball joint, but not that. It's like, I forget the what joint that's called, but you can just twist around. It doesn't really move much beyond that. There you can see a belt with what looks like to be a another green um, belt there. So matches his sash there. Then he's in the um, these black flowy pants as you can see the pants that they tend to wear um, on these figures and like the gi pants and then you can see another rip there in his leg he does have some hip joints here so the hip can twist around as you can see and then of course can move and certain um, kind of limited but it does move around um, he does have a knee joint which these knee joints probably because their pants are weird it's just like a single joint but they're um, pretty weird but I really like them also at the same time because you don't have as much weakness in them and stuff um, so I kind of like that then it goes down into the boots where he's got these yellowish color boots on with uh, black tips at the end and again the feet do move around on like a ball joint so you can completely twist them around and then they do have some flexion um, from side to side and um, not much back and forth but they can move a little side to side there to help you um, get them to pose and stand up that's one nice thing about these figures is they have really good posability and everything um for accessories well look they um all these figures come with multiple hands so one of the sets of hands is open hands so of course to do like some of their um, powers and stuff they have the open hands fists like that but for this figure he also does comes with grip hands so he can hold the sword which speaking of we do have a sword so here is a sword in the sheath which you can then attach onto his back it's just got this little like oblong um, shape and you just push it in there but then he also does come with a sword itself out of the box or out of the sheath which I don't know why they couldn't just make you know one that comes out so then you would have just had one sword but they made two separate ones one in the sheath and one out of it and then of course for our fusion samus figure we've got the head of it so there you can see a half purple and half green again with the really cool style hair which we'll look at at the end of course figure all together but that looks awesome so that's going to be it for the super saiyan future trunks and next up is number two with super saiyan blue goku so there we've got another goku figure here and he's of course in his classic you know look of outfit and everything but a little bit different as you can see he's got the blue anime hair which again I really like the hair design this time it's a metallic blue design and this is kind of like the classic Dragon Ball design and stuff we'll take a look at his face there he's got the same of course eyes he's got the bluish color eyes there that match the hair and the eyebrows as well you can see he's there kind of got like an angry looking face on him there and then going down he's got his classic uh, orange and blue gi and so there we've got you know the blue or the orange where you can see his chest and everything you can even see some sort of muscles designs in there and then I've got the blue uh, belt on the blue wristbands and of course the blue shoes down there with the black on them and everything I really like their shoe designs I want like some of these shoes I think they look really cool um, but then of course he's just got you know the orange all the way through and then he's got that logo on the side there um, we'll look at some moves of course heads is the same you can move a little bit and then side to side um, for shoulders, they do have the exact same moves. It's pretty much going to be exactly the same as the trunks figure, but I do like how here on the glee, on the glee, the gi, his shoulders, they are loose, so they can move around and twist, so they move with the outfit, so they don't um, limit the range as much. So I like how they have put that in there. He does have twist there right above the belt, and then of course the same movements in the legs, and um, yeah, everything else is exactly the same. Again, this looks really really cool here's a look at the back from its same double elbow joint and the single knee joint there's the look at the back of the knee so you can kind of just see what it looks like and how it works and everything inside of there so I really like that a lot and again they have with all this movement stuff they can do they have really nice posability so you can get them in all sorts of different positions and stuff which of course fits perfectly for 
of Dragon Ball design stuff. So then for accessories, we do have, again, the two open hands you can switch out with him. Um, so nothing too special there. Just like I said, every figure is pretty much going to come with open hands like this. And then we've got our Zamasu figure parts here. So there we've got the upper body. There you can see the neck with the half green, half purple. But this side we have a green hand and then also comes of course with open green hand as I mentioned. So there we've got that part. So it comes with one of the arms and then um, the like upper body torso for that as well. Again not much to go into on this figure. It's got all the same movements so we don't have to keep looking at the movements all over again. And then he's got a very simple outfit so nothing too much to look into. So that's going to be it for Super Saiyan Blue Goku. And number three here is Hitten, which I think that's, you know, just got a nice simple name. And this figure looks really cool. I really like the look of him. So let's bring him up close here. And there you can see, so he is more of an alien type figure and so or character. And so you can see his head there. He's got a, just a nice, small, uh, smooth, bald head. He does have a, like, connection line there along the center. And I don't know if that's just damage from back gene or um, that there. If it's supposed to be designed like that, I don't really know. But he has kind of like a... Um, like just the face design with the probably because of the protruding um, uh, head or like eyebrows and stuff there it reminds me of like a monkey and then of course with hit it reminds me of hit monkey you know from the comic book character and stuff um, but there's a look at his face so he does of course have the triangle eyes he's got red eyes there so he does look really evil and stuff I don't know if he is or not um, but he looks like it and then his face there you can see with the white and then he's got like the white white seem supposed to be ears but the side's kind of messed up with some paint and stuff looks like it kind of got messed up. Um, then going down, we've got looks to be probably like a um, coat or overcoat cloak type thing. Um, so we've got the top here again. That's like this purple color, di different, a uh, little bit different shade of purple than his head, but it's not too different. Um, but so we've got this high color, of course, that goes all the way around his head, and it comes down onto his shoulders there. And it's down his body. You can see, of course, he's got all sorts of abs and everything. And then it goes all the way down to hanging like a trench coat and everything. I'm um, on his arm. So there we got the purple. And it goes into this green color where he does have, like, looks like um, some elbow pads or something. Continue on with the green and then these purple gloves that match the outfit. And the same, he's got a green belt around him, as you can see, with the yellow belt buckle there in the center. Green legs all the way down to his knees, or again, it looks like he's got like knee pads or something. And then purple boots, again, with the same like widened design up top. It looks like segmented. And then black tips and bottoms there and there you can see so figure movement we do have the head of course it's limited though because of the collar and again not much it, they don't their heads don't like nod they just twist side to side and then arms look a little bit different but they function pretty much the same so it does you know can twist around and then also gets kind of stuck on his arm and then can bend down and everything then he's got the sh um, upper shoulder shoulder bicep twist whatever you call it a double elbow joint there and then of course the hands can twist and bend and everything twist at the waist as usual and then the same leg joints this time has a double knee joint though because he's not got the gi on so he doesn't he's got different legs as you can see i can't get the bottom one to do it but it's double knee joint um no leg twist or anything and then of course the foot which can bend all sorts of different direction stuff which again some of these figures have looser joints than others but it's you know as long as they don't the looseness doesn't affect you know the sustainability it's really nice because you can easily get them to pose and everything so for accessories comes of course with open hands as i mentioned so again the purple matching his hands and then for zamasu we've got his waist which does fall out of here or his uh hips area i don't know what you call this but there's part obviously that connects to the top and then where his legs will connect and then we've got this cl um like waist uh I want to say like skirt, but I don't know what else you'd call it. That will hang down, of course, really far into the back. The, the part just slides up into there. So it's kind of loose and falls out and everything. But that's our part for Zamasu. So that's going to be it for number three of Hit. And now we're getting to, into series four. And we're starting out with number four of the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. So we had Blue Goku. Now we've got Blue Vegeta. And, of course, he's got the same kind of hair. Um, his hairstyle is a little bit different, but it's pretty much the same. His hair has always just been like flowing like up into a point where Goku's has a point in the middle, but that, like different like prongies off of the side and stuff. But again, it's the metallic blue, and I love that blue color. It's blue that they choose for this and stuff. I really like that design. Then we, of course, have the classic Viz Vegeta design that comes in with the big like widow's peak there at the top. And he's got the blue eyes and blue eyebrows, of course, that go with that. And then his face that comes into... 
a point and everything there. Um, he's really got a real sharp face, but his head barely moves. Um, Vegeta's like always looking down in these figures. He's always like built down. I want to like move his head back so he's like looking up and everything, but it's always kind of stuck there. Then he's in um, pretty much so it's like what I would call like a classic. Um, Vegeta outfit that I've always seen him in. It's just been like different colors and stuff. But he's got the chest plate, which I believe is the Saiyan um, like outfit. And I can't be, I don't want to be quoted on that or anything. That's just stuff, you know, I've heard of, um, stuff from the past. But it's got the chest plate here. So the white armor piece with the gold on it. And again, it's got the logo that I believe is for Saiyans. But again, I don't know what that is at all. Um, but then he's got the black underneath. So there you can see the black collar that comes up to the neck. And then he's got the black arms and black legs and stuff down and then the white gloves on the side and white boots and I like the gold tips there on the end of the shoes and stuff they look really nice uh, some movements where you look at the head the shoulders are the same it's got double elbow joint moves a little bit at the waist he doesn't twist a whole lot but oh, I guess he actually can you just kind of have to get over it's like a weird little hump that he's got to get over um, to be able to twist around and stuff and that's all the same these go with the um, same L, uh, hip joints and then double knee, since again he's not wearing the gi, and then the foot, same foot flexion and everything on him. There's a look at the back, so you can see more of the gold on his uh, chest plate there. And again, he's in like an all black bodysuit. It's more like a grayish probably, um, with the white uh, pieces added on. Again, looks really cool. Reminds me of you know like the White Ranger or something from Power Rangers. Let's get him to stand for accessories. Same as all the other figures, he's got open hands. So there we got the open hands for that. And for our Zamasu figure he's got this giant purple arm so that's where I guess the purple is from on the Zamasu figure so we got this big giant like hulking arm with a ring on it and stuff for that so that's gonna be it for number four of Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta next up is number five of the Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black or Rose because I see it's got a weird little like thing on the E so it could be Rose or Rose whatever um, but I really, this figure looks really cool again as well so it's got the Goku hair because obviously it is Goku but it's got this metallic pink color so it's like a pearl-esque pink so it's not like solid pink but it's got like a whitish with like as you turn it you can see the pink in it and everything and so I really like the look of that it looks really nice and cool of course again he's got more like a purplish or light blue eyes instead of matching the hair but it does have the same same pink uh, like eyebrows and stuff and of course his face looks super mean and evil so he's either um, evil as this version or he's um, just you know happy to be fighting or something but he's just got a real evil look on his face and again he's got um, the gi outfit on but it's just changed into different colors and everything and so he's got a black underneath so you can see the hole underneath instead of his chest and stuff it's black and it goes all the way to through uh, down to his arms and stuff and then he's got this gray like outer gi on with the red belt around it so again I like the look of the geese and stuff and he's got the black legs of the geese so it's getting got the real puffy legs and everything there and then just the white boots on now this figure does have really loose hips so his hips kind of are really loose and weak so again like I said it helps for posing but he because of that though posing wise he does kind of fall like to this side or this side because of the hips weakness so there he's falling to one side and there he falls to the other so that's one bad thing but it's I feel though it just helps him pose and then his his waist joint's kind of loose too. It just moves real super and easy and stuff. So I have a feeling my brother's not going to be happy with this figure and probably want to buy a new one that's not so loose and everything because he's kind of being a pain to pose and stuff. But still looks really cool and I really like that a lot. Movement wise, he's got all the same. So again, he's got the um, moving gi shoulders here. And I really like that they've done added that onto it. But same joints. Of course, we saw the loose waist there. And then same leg joints as the others in this outfit. Again, just really loose hip joints and everything there. So that's uh, kind of disappointing that the figure comes like that. But that's unfortunately, you can't tell when you buy a figure in a box how it's going to turn out. And again, I can't have issues standing him. For accessories, this time since he does have both of the open hands, he does comes with fist hands. And there you can see on this hand, he does have the same uh, silver ring that the Zamasu hand had. So that may be a little hint at something there. And I did notice he also has um, the blue earring on there. So maybe he's got some possession or something by Zamasu going on. So I'll sit that there. And then he also does have 
have this like energy thing you can put on hands like an energy type sword so it's got this nice shiny like blast stuff coming from the bottom that forms into a nice sword that you can take his hand off and put this onto his hand it just pops on into the hand joint as you can see there um, so you can put that on his hand as well so, and I think that'll look really cool get him back out of the way there and then for as the Masu part we've got his um, left or right sorry right leg here get it all situated so just a black leg, um, pant leg with the white shoes there all that's it for Zamasu so that's going to be it for this number 5 of Super Saiyan Rose or Rose Goku Black and our last figure out of this set is number 6 of Zamasu himself so of course we've got the bill of figure left but this is the actual figures this is the last one and again this is just a plain old Zamasu so this is just what um um, it normally looks like I don't know if it's a he or she um, but that's just, just what it normally looks like so it's got the nice blue skin kind of like a piccolo and stuff does so I like that whole look um, and so there's the green skin you can see the eyes and everything it's got a lighter um, I would say probably why it looks like a lighter green but it could be white eyebrows there of course this white hair that's you know like all shaved and it's parted um, uh, swept over to the side and of course has the anime style points to it and everything it's got super sharp pointy ears as you can see and then it does have two like gold earrings on there and then it's outfit you can see it's got this cool um, I want to say like the Saiyan outfits, but it's just got these big giant shoulder pad outfits like on a overcloak type thing because it's got the parts that come all the way down to the bottom here in the black and yellow colors, which looks nice. Underneath, it's got gr uh, the purple, so it's got the purple outfit that comes up with a neck, and then purple sleeves all the way down to its wrist and everything, and then blue legs, some like normal blue colored legs there with white um, shoes, and then it's got this lighter blue uh, piece wrapped around its waist and tied kind of like a belt and everything um, but for movements it does have the same so head move does have a little bit of a nod and twist side to side and shoulders I say should be limited because of this armor piece or this cl um, clothing so it can't move as much as the others do but it still has pretty good movement for that um, same hands uh, it does have a twist at the waist I figured it'd be joined but it does have the twist so it can twist around there at the waist Probably has the same hip joints, but again, because of this um, cl uh, coat thing, it limits the movement of the leg, so it can't move around too much. But it does have the knee, of course, single knee joint there, and then the foot flexion. So it does have all the parts that can move, even though it's got limitations, it can still be posed pretty good and everything. So that is awesome for accessories. Um, it comes with as you could probably guess, some open hands, since it's got two fists, it does have open hands with the green the match. Looks like some paint issues maybe there on its hand. And then it does also come with a flat hand that goes on the left. So maybe for the next thing you can switch this hand out with a just a flat style hand. And then of course just like the Rose Goku Black it comes with the same sort of like energy sword. So again you can switch the hand out with this. But this is more of a purple where the other one had you know pink to it. And it's clear where the other one was kind of foggy especially down here at like the blast part. Again, which I really like the look and design. It's kind of bent, unfortunately, but it should be pretty easy to fix. And then our last piece for the Fusion Zamasu um, build a figure is the left leg. So we now have all the pieces to build that Zamasu figure. And so that's going to be it for this Zamasu figure of number six of this series. So that is it for all of the pieces now. So we got all of the Zamasu pieces here. So I'm going to go ahead and put it together and I'll bring it back once I get it done. And so here it is all put together. It is actually pretty easy. I thought with maybe because of like this covering and stuff, it would have some issues, but it's in the very similar outfit that we saw with the last, um, Zamasu, but here we've got um, a little bit. So the hair is obviously different. It looks more like Goku's hair, and so then it's <clears throat> got more of a Goku face compared to the Zamasu. So the face looks more like Goku's, and it's got a wider ear than, and it's still pointed, but different than the uh, Zamasu figure. It has green earrings instead of the gold ones. Then of course it's half uh, purple, half green, as you can see. So this side looks um, purplish and all like melty. So it looks like it's you know like melty or forming and stuff so that looks kind of different um same outfit design but different colors so it's um, got this blackish gray color and the red outline and then a red belt and then you we saw the arm already with the green hands of course going from the green half and then we've got the purple half with this giant arm i wish there was some sort of covering up here to which um, i do like the outfit looks kind of like it's looks like it's designed to be looks like it's ripped so like the arm just transformed and ripped through like ripped this uh 
uh, pointy part off of the shoulder. Um, but I wish there would be something here just to kind of cover it and make it look more smooth. There's too much of a gap for me in between there. But of course it does allow for a lot of movement stuff. It's just a nice like ball joint so it can move oh, or it can pop out easily. There we go. Um, but I like, like again, you know, it's got like this moldy or mold, like melting and molding form. So like it forms into this giant hand there. We've got the ring on it again. And it's got the double elbow joint. And the hand does not twist though or anything. So it's just kind of put in this fist position and you can't really move it around. You have to move the whole arm to get movement out of it. And of course, it's got all the same movements. So the head can twist and nod just a little. It's got the waist twist there. Of course, the arms can move all the same as the other Zamasu figure. Um, limited because of the shoulder pad um, legs can move you know just a little bit within this like skirting part and then of course the single knee and the legs there so it's you know pretty nice and easy it doesn't have too many issues standing up you think because of this big giant arm it would have issues like you know you have to get it messed around with but it does stand though pretty now I can't get I was able to do it pretty easy before now I can't there we go so it's pretty easy then of course it does have the changeable hand to the open hand for the green side as well so that's going to be it for this series of the Dragon Ball Super Dragon Star figures of series three and four put together into the one figure with the build a figure of the fusion zamasu so that that we see here and everything so I hope you enjoyed this again I don't know much of anything about Dragon Ball anything like z super whatever so um my knowledge is very limited these are my brother's figures and i'm just reviewing them as actual action figure toys not the characters themselves so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did let me know in the comments down below don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to see more videos we still have the next wave of series four or five and six sorry to come up with in some exclusive figures so we got a couple more videos coming up of these dragon ball um all star figures or dragon star figures i guess what they're called so thank you all very much for watching and we'll see you next time